it's Elizabeth from the Toy Hoarder. I am back with another Toy Story toy. Guys, this is a vintage toy. I'm sure you can tell by the condition of just, well, what happened to this. Don't worry, I got it super cheap, so I'm not super worried about the box damage. Hopefully it will still work inside. It seems like it's never been open. I mean, this, this tape on this, this is so old. It's probably from the first film. It's one of the first toys I think that they even released. Um, and I mean, the tape has, come off and you can see where the tape was and it just kind of like disintegrated into the box i mean it's this is an older toy guys i'm gonna see if there's a date on it hold on so i got this one on ebay and on the bottom it does say in pen december 25th 1996 so it was a 1995 1996 toy something like that that's crazy but i don't see a date other than that this is a thinkway toy so one of one of the original, I think it was the only company who would produce toys. This is the Toy Story Electronic Talking Bank, Buzz Lightyear Electronic Talking Bank. It does have the original voice. He's got some motion. The green, the green trim glows in the dark. He turns at the waist. He's got saluting arm action, a try me button. You can deposit coins and he'll do stuff when you put the coins in. So yeah, all right. Let me show you guys the box first which is why I didn't just take this apart. Uh, hopefully hopefully it's okay in here, but I do want you guys to be able to see the box. And also, you can see if this is the toy that you have sometimes just by the box packaging. So here you go. I do hear some stuff rattling. I don't know if there's coins in there. I'm hoping it's coins and not like pieces of something broken in here, but older toy, so, you know, we'll see. It looks like I can open it from the back, which is interesting. Or maybe the side, I don't even know. Um, there were probably pieces of tape at some point, but I, as I told you, they kind of disintegrated, so... Uh... Oh, okay. The side is a flap. You open it from the side here, so... Open that, and we should be able to pull out this cardboard tray. Oh gosh, guys, my box is so smashed! <laughs> It had a rough time in shipping, guys. It, it really did. And it was it was pretty rough, actually, before shipping, so. All right, I got it open. So that's a start. Here's the front of the box. That's, that's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. He's got two big twist ties in the bottom of him, and that should be all to remove him, except his wing pack. His wing pack has a twist tie on the back here as well. So I'm gonna do the bottom pieces. For, there's like dust and dirt and stuff in here because uh, this piece came loose. So I apologize. It had been stored somewhere before I bought it. All right. So it's actually, it's, it's just two, but it's, you know, four ends of it. That's pretty crazy. There's a lot of big old bundle of twist ties here. And these of course are the older twist ties. They are made of wire. They're not the paper ones. Okie doke. Freedom. Oh, yeah, I definitely think there might be like some coins in here or something. This is very dusty. I'm gonna definitely have to clean it off. The coins in here. Guys, my bank came with bonus pennies. Oh, and a dime. Two pennies and a dime. What? I paid 12 cents less for it. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm actually just really glad it wasn't broken pieces inside. Um, and I'm probably gonna have to change out the batteries. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm gonna show you that part, but let me get the rest of it out. We've got one more twist tie in here, and that is around the wing packaging, and then I should be able to... Gosh, she's so dirty, guys. Uh, I should be able to just take this out of the packaging and attach them. It is taped together. So here are the wings, and some little instructions that just, I mean, it just says snap the wings onto Buzz. That's the whole instruction paper, guys, so not anything too challenging. I wonder what year these, uh, these coins are. 
All right, we got a 1990 and a 1991 and a 1990. So that's fun. I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. I mean, it has nothing to do with the toy. That was whoever owned it before me put that in there, I guess. All right, let me wipe him down real quick because he's super dusty and I will show you about the batteries. They are in the bottom here. Need a tiny Phillips head screwdriver and he should take two or three double A's, but I'll let you know in just a minute. Okay guys, excellent news. He cleaned up super easy. It was mostly just dust on him. I didn't do a detail clean right now or anything crazy. I just got a couple paper towels, dampened them with sink water and rubbed it down. I mean, nothing crazy. I didn't use too, too much water. Make sure that you don't have like a dripping paper towel or anything because this is an electronic toy. So you aren't gonna wanna get it super wet, but just kind of wiped the whole thing down so he looks a little nicer and is just, it's just a smidgy cleaner. Um, I also found uh, another coin in the bank. It was a quarter, so 37 cents. I mean, 37 cents. I'm so excited. Also the quarter, if anyone cares, is from 1965. So that's fun. Okay. Uh, I put batteries in here as well. I took out the batteries that came with it because of course there are batteries included and I did show you that that was not working while it was in the package. But again, it's from 95, 96. So it's an older toy. It is now 2022. So yeah, those batteries are gone. They're not, they're not good anymore. They did corrode a little bit and there is a bit of corrosion still inside the compartment that I'll have to clean out later, but it's not enough that it doesn't at least sort of make a connection. So it will still work to show you guys this demonstration. All right, here are the wings. I did show you, you know, how you're supposed to put them in, but you want the red and white stripes up and you are just going to snap it into place. There we go, there's one, red and white up and snap it into place there we go they are uh kind of a rubbery silicone type material a little stiffer than that maybe but they do bend some so that's nice and as i told you i did put the batteries in it it does take three double a batteries and you can use a regular screwdriver i did have a mini screwdriver that will work with it but you're better off using the size that it's supposed to be so regular screwdriver three AA batteries, and then you simply click uh, the button. This is an intergalactic emergency. Close right here to the rescue. I think he's supposed to salute you, but do I have to put his arm down or? I am Buzz Lightyear. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. I come in peace. This is the try me button that I'm hitting. Okay, so to start the functions, I'm supposed to put coins in it. So here we go, here's a penny. This is an intergalactic emergency. It's stuck. Close right here, to the rescue. Okay, I don't know how to get him to put his arm down, so I'm just gonna put it down. All right, here's another penny. What? There we go. Okay, well, that was unfortunate. Let's try a dime. I am both right here. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. I come in peace. There we go, he put his arm down. Okay, so maybe I didn't let it play long enough to put his arm down earlier. All right, here we go. This is an intergalactic emergency. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. like three to five sayings because this is one of those older toys but this is so cool i love that he'll still salute you he does have the wings that you can put in which look super awesome on him uh he does have a twistable waist it says too so yeah we can we can turn him and he might actually turn in some of the stuff that he does i'll do a couple more try me's and maybe take the coins out and put some put them back in but i ran out of coins here i probably should have brought more for this demo but all right i am both right here i protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion i come in peace Oh, that's so cool. This is an intergalactic emergency. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. I 
I am Buzz Lightyear. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. I come in peace. This is an intergalactic emergency. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Oh, I will tell you when I was trying to screw uh, and unscrew the battery compartment cover, the piece of plastic that goes around where the screw is just totally disintegrated as I unscrewed it. So I will have to tape the battery cover back on, but really not a big deal for me. Some collectors that might be an issue, but you might be able to get a replacement piece for that. I don't really know, guys. It doesn't bother me enough to go look into it. All right, here we go. See if we can see anything else. I am Buzz Lightyear. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. I come in peace. Oh no! Alright, it's real easy to get these stuck in here, guys. Oh look, my penny came out! There it goes. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! I think that's all he says. I think he just has those uh, those three phrases, but that's really fun. He's got a little bit of music. He's got the salute. He's got the wings that attach. He looks really nice, and he's on this big, nice base, so, you know, you can actually, like, I store all your... Right here. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion. I come in peace. You can store all your money and things in here. Sorry, I don't want him to keep going off while I'm trying to, oh, do this. But, yeah, oh, wait, there should be one more penny in there. There it is. So this is really fun. I think I'm going to use this as a bank. I like it very much. Um, I'm really glad that the helmet actually does not come up on this particular buzz because otherwise he would have been crazy dirty inside there. It's really hard to clean all around his neck and face and facial features and things like that. So if I get an older one, I'm usually happy if they kept the helmet closed on that. So for this particular one, this is not a real button. You can't, uh, you can't do that. Also, none of these front ones are real buttons, but as far as movie accuracy, he's got his three colors here. He's got the wing button. He's got the laser button, the little laser light, uh, all his stickers. So, I mean, he's very movie accurate. He's even got the little purple fingertips. This is, this is super cool, you guys. I love it. All right, let me know what you guys thought of this toy down in the comments below. I mean, I say toy kind of loosely. I don't know. Do you consider this a toy or is it a bank, a statue, a collector's item? I don't know. What do you guys consider it and what did you think of it? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have it? Did you have it when you were younger? Um, are you planning on getting it for you, for your kids, for a collector? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed the content that you saw today and you haven't had a chance yet, please do hit that red subscribe button down below as well. That's completely free for you guys to do, but really helps support us and encourages us to keep posting awesome videos like this one for you guys. So we do appreciate you taking a moment of your time and doing that right now. All right, while you're there, you can click the thumbs up to leave a like. You can go check out our channel. We've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun things on there for you guys. We're always adding new content weekdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, except Toy Story Thursdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So be sure to join us again soon, and until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.